guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel, Simply Home by Nikki. I'm glad that you stopped by. Today I'm going to do a flip through of two different junk journals. They are recipe card journals. Um, it's made using most, mostly the Cartabella Homemade Collection. It is an older collection, but I found it at an estate sale and I picked it up for um, like half of the price. So I thought I'd use it. Um, I really like the colors. There's a lot of um, aquas and reds, um, some browns, tans, greens. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip through each one. These are both going to be for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure of the price yet. If you want to take a look, I'll leave a link below on how to get over there. But let's get started. The first one I'm going to call Cook because it has um, a little 3x4 card on it that says Cook. But I added a lot of little fun things on the front. I have a little tassel here in red, a tiny little tag. I have a milk cap in red and white. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is a little three by four card that says cook. I added a craft paper tag with some of the stickers from the collection. Just a little banner tag. This is vintage lace that I found a couple weeks ago at an antique sale. So I added that to the bottom of there. Um, these are vintage recipe cards. I have a Racco card included. I liked how the teal brought out the teal in the collection. I have a sticker here on top of some baker's twine and that is all on top of some war bond stickers. Used to, used to cash those in for um, food and supplies. Then I just have a four by six card from the collection with a little banner tag on the bottom, a guest check. Here's another four by six card from the collection with um, a yellow ticket and a train ticket actually stapled to it. I have a little memory, memory game piece there, an old check a blank card for journaling, another vintage recipe card, a tag with some vintage um, seam binding on it in green. Here I have a little envelope. I made this out of a little golden book. It's got a farm on it and I mounted that on top of a four by six card. I have a little sequin mix in there. This is a little tuck spot with a bookmark. Um, on the bookmark I attached a little piece of seam binding. That is also vintage. A blank journaling card. This is a, a piece, a page from the Better Betty, Betty Crocker cookbook. Um, this one is from the 1970s, I believe. I just added a piece of washi there and I added a, another vintage recipe card inside with a seam binding pull tab. That tucks right in there. Another little three by four piece, a doily attached to a four by six card. Another blank journaling card. I got this um, lot of ribbons from Showing Chickens. And this one was uh, in Waterloo, Iowa in 1949. So I thought that was funny. Um, I used the the piece on the back where you could write who it was awarded to as a little um, ephemera piece on the front. So I added that. Here's a little recipe card, a bridge tally card, a vintage flash card. I have a little rose gold cupcake paper clip that I just took some pieces. This is um, for embroidery thread. I just took that and have that tucked right on there. This is a tag card from that same Betty Crocker cookbook. Here I have another milk cap and just a circle that I punched out of the collection and I added a little milk bottle sticker to it. Another vintage flash card. This is a vintage wallpaper piece in here. Uh, it gives great texture with the browns and the creams. A little train identification tag for your luggage, a four by six card. This is a vintage, um, a vintage index card, a four by six card. This is a recipe from a Betty Crocker cookbook. I'm not sure the year. I think it's 1970. It was a, a paperback copy. Here I have a little tuck spot made with a, a card, a playing card. I have a vintage peanut bag. Make a great little tuck spot there. Another 4x6 card from the collection, a recipe card from the collection, and a 
journaling card, and then I backed it with a green bingo card. It's got some fun uh, ribbon on the top, some old, some new. So that is Cook, that is the Cook one. This one is pretty much the same, so I'll go through it fairly quickly, but it's got uh, the same kind of fun ribbons at the top on each of the binding binder rings. Uh, it's got a tassel, a milk bottle, a little mini tag. It's got the word eat. Two tags here. The same vintage lace. Recipe card. Guess check. Same tickets there. Memory card. A check. Vintage recipe card, a tag, another envelope from a, that little golden book, a recipe card, a sequin mix, a little bookmark tuck spot, a recipe card in there, a doily, another ribbon, this is from 1939. Bridge card, flash card, another of the paper clips. This one is another tab from the Betty Crocker cookbook. Milk tab here. Vintage wallpaper. A tag. Four by six card. Um, some vintage ephemera. Another tuck spot using a, a playing card, the circus peanut bag, four by six card, recipe card, journaling card, and ending with the bingo card. So those are the two. Like I said, this one will be titled Eat and this one will be titled Cook. If you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.